Hey guys, so, um, don't mind my hair, it's a little crazy today, um, but I am just chilling and I decided that I'm gonna film a video. Um, I'm at my best friend's house, but she has work today, so I'm just chilling here. And I thought that I would do a, um, top five products I will not be repurchasing. So... I'm, I'm oftentimes like, I find that I'm always saying positive things about products. Like I always try to find at least something that I liked about it. Um, and yeah, sure. There were things that I did like about these products, which I'll get into, but the, um, <clears throat> what, what am I trying to say? The, um, the pros did not outweigh the cons. There we go. Oh so, yeah. Let's just jump right in and get started. Uh, these are aren't really in any particular order except maybe the first one because I think this is the one that was the biggest disappointment for me um and <clears throat> I had such high hopes for it because it's considered a holy grail product for one of my favorite YouTube uh bloggers Al Fowler and I did not like it it is uh, oh, and also, because of the fact that I'm at my friend's house, I don't actually have any th of the things, like, with me that I can show you, like, the empty container and whatever. So, the first thing is the Christian Dior Creme de Rose Lip Balm, and it comes in a little container that looks like this, and, um, this was the product that Al Fowler, like, swore by, and said it was so great and all this stuff. And so, and it's, you know, it's Christian Dior, Christian Dior. It's expensive. So I asked for it for Christmas. I think, like, the little thing is, like, I think $27. Um, but, like, what I would usually do is, like, my dad would get me and my mom and my sister, like, um, each, like, a high-end, like, little rollerball as, like, a rollerball perfume as a stocking stuffer so I said oh you know this year instead of the rollerball perfume can I get this it's around the same price range you know and um <clears throat> so I got it and the packaging as you saw is really cute and so I was like oh okay you know I was like really excited about it and I guess maybe some people might like it but the worst thing for me was the fact that the formula was just so sticky. I just, I hated it. And um, I used it for a while and I just, I didn't like how it felt when it was on because it was so sticky and like, um... It was moisturizing, you know, and it did, like, if I were to put it on, like, before bed, it did, um, leave my lips pretty, you know, soft and not really chapped, but EOS lip balm that I get at Target for, like, $2 was just as good in terms of what it did for my lips. So I was severely disappointed because of the fact that it was $30 and I was hoping that it was going to be like this amazing thing because I have really chapped lips. So I was hoping like maybe this will be a good thing. No, not a fan at all. So um, I definitely will not be uh, repurchasing that. However, I did keep the little container because it's like about this big. And I use it now to, like, keep pills in that I want to, like, take with me. Like, if I want to take allergy medicine with me or Tylenol, whatever, um, to keep with me, like, in my purse, I'll put it in the cute little container. Um, yeah. So then, next is, I don't know exactly what this stuff was called. I can't remember, but I'll insert it over here as well as a picture but it was a Burt's Bees like spot treatment type thing for um pimples it was like a spot treatment oil and um right off the bat I did not like that it was a roller ball 
because I immediately felt like, okay, I'm going to put it on where I have a pimple, like put it, put the, put the product on and then it's going to sit there until the next time and then I'm going to use it again. And even though like the, the rollerball thing is like moving, I felt like that it would just be co collecting germs. It just does not seem like a good idea to me. Um, and there was another product that <laughs> I will insert the name of, um, and I got a tiny little sample size of it, and it was so good, but it's one of those things that they only have the product in, like, a travel size, and even the travel size is, like, $40, so I'm, I'm, like, finding it hard to make that purchase, and I've been trying to find something, like, just as good, but not that, and, um, so that's why I tried this Burt's Beast thing, and it was not. Um, it was not great. Uh, the smell was eh, and it would just get so, it would, it's so messy, I guess. Like, it would just kind of, like, drip down my face. Uh -huh. I just didn't like it. I, uh, and it didn't really do anything for me either. It didn't, uh, work well for my skin. So, um, I won't be getting that. That did not work. And I'm probably not going to finish it either because what's the point of putting it on my skin if it's not doing anything for me? Um, but I mean, who knows? It's just me. I have, um, kind of dry skin and I don't have like severe acne by any means. I have, um, I'm blessed with pretty good skin, but I do get like pimples here and there. Everyone does. And so I wanted to like get something that I could do like just like a spot treatment thing. So like, you know, if, I have a big day, and then the day before I notice I'm getting a pimple, I could, like, put, just put it on, and, you know, help it out a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm still in the market for something like that, so let me know if anyone has any suggestions, so I don't have to go and spend $40 on a tiny little thing. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Next up is Avon Lipsticks. Avon is like a, if you don't know what it is. Um, you, like, you have an Avon representative, and they give you a brochure, and you, like, order stuff from them. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's not sold in stores, as far as I know. It's just, like, a mail order service. That's, that's the word. Um, so I got a, a pack of, I asked for a pack of, like, the, um, lipsticks for Christmas. And my mom got them for me, and it came with some really nice colors, and they were, like, shimmery. They had shimmers in them. It was, like, a red, a, a purple, um, and then, like, a, like, dark nude, kind of, like, a brownie shade or whatever. Um, and then a clear lip gloss. The clear lip gloss I still have, because that's, you know, can't really go wrong there. Um, but the lipsticks I was so disappointed with, um... They smelled weird, first of all, <laughs> and you're putting something very close to your nose and on your mouth, and mm. uh, they smelled weird, and they, I don't know how to describe it, like, I'm not, I don't know the, the all the chemicals when it comes into, like, makeup, how it's made and what's in it and everything, so I don't really know how to, um, describe, like, what it was that was the problem exactly, but... When it went on, it wasn't smooth, and the color just didn't show up well, as well as it looked when you're, like, looking at the thing. Um, and it, I, th I think because of the shimmer also, it felt kind of weird on my lips, but I guess that's what you get for something that has, like, specks in it. Um, but I just, the, the formula was not good quality, which is surprising, honestly, for, for Avon, um, because I like a lot of their other products, um, their, the Avon, like, lotion makeup remover is, like, a holy grail product for me, I love it, um, but that can be another video, <laughs> um, yeah, so the Avon lipsticks I was really disappointed with, I ended up throwing them out, um, and I only kept the, uh, the lip gloss, so, that's unfortunate, but what is this, like, weird kink in my hair right now? Um, yeah, that was unfortunate, but what can you do? So, this item I actually have, 
in my makeup bag somewhere. Nope, that's not it. Because I still use it occasionally, um, and I want to try to use it because it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't cheap either. It's from Sephora, and it's the Sephora Concealer, if I can find it. So it is the Sephora Smoothing and Brightening Concealer, and it looks like this. And it um, has like the brush kind of bit. Um, and it's a good color for me. That was great. I don't mind the applicator. It's not my favorite. Um, I prefer like the spongy ones, even though those can kind of be full of germs, people say. But I guess this can too, really. Um, th but the applicator was okay. It was just the, w the way it blends into my skin. It just, it just didn't fit... Um, sit on top of my skin the way I wanted it to. It, it kind of, no matter how little I put, I felt like it got a little cakey. Um, and I just got it because I needed um, concealer, but I think I'm just definitely going to go back to the Maybelline concealer that I use because it's cheaper and it works. But I just, I was at a Sephora, not CVS. <laughs> so I got that. I figured I'd try it, but not really a fan. Um, I have, there's other products that work better, in my opinion, for a better price. Um, lastly is the Neutrogena makeup wipes. Um, they were the one. I don't have them anymore. They were the ones in the blue package, but then again, I think all of them are in the blue package. Um, they didn't say sensitive. I think they were just like the regular ones, but I don't even know if Neutrogena has sensitive ones. Um, or maybe they were sensitive, but not. I don't. I don't know. But as far as I know, they were just the normal ones, the regular, like original, I guess. Um, <clears throat> for overall on my face, they were okay. But if I would use them, like, to take off eye makeup, and, like, I have, my eyes can be pretty sensitive around this corner, corner there, um, and those, like, really irritated, like, and I wasn't, like, scrubbing or anything, like, even just, like, if I wiped and then wiped, you know, even just twice, like, I would feel it, that corner, um, and it would be kind of, like, burning a little bit, so, you know stopped using those. Um, and on the rest of my face, they were fine. Uh, but it was just like near my eye that it would get, um, like a not good feeling, like irritated. Um, so I stopped using those. Uh, I'm not really a fan of those simply because of, of what I just said, because I want something that I can use on my whole face. Um, I don't want to like buy something that I have to use that I can't use on my eyes and I have to have different wipes for my eyes, you know? Those are those are all those are the top five in no real order exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to film that and I hope that it's all here. <laughs> um, I hope that it's all here because it was so. I'll see you guys in my next video, whatever it may be. Thank you for watching. Bye.